Hello, and welcome back to Alan Wake. We've got a wicked hangover, so let's go find some sunglasses. Well, at least Alan thinks it's a wicked hangover. He doesn't know nothing yet. Just wait until West wait until he meets the Andersons. Mm. And then he has to go fight Those monsters the next day. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. All right, now where are your sunglasses at, Alan? The lights were like needles in my eyes. I needed my sunglasses. All right, if I was a douchey rider, where would I keep my sunglasses? Of course, next to my bed. Ugh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Alan, you look like even more of a douchebag than usual. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Where is that green light even coming from? It's just a radioactive phone. do that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Garrett Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm Oh my I'm god, a this is so painful wow, to watch. Thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, kill me. Books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. You've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So... How's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. This is like I know the that worst good. talk show uh, I've ever watched. You are famous for that temper. <laughs> Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam oh, Wake, you, you know it's not a great talk show because it lasts all of like five minutes. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, man. Good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Yeah, sure. You, you were so funny. You say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask me something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice. But suddenly I was at... What? 
Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Well, that ended way better than I thought it was going to end. Oh, I'm glad we had Somehow, that flashback. The was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. What? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. Barry's getting all emotional and Al's just like, when how do you hug? It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Surrounded by the Ooh. beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Now, Al, here's what you should have done, though. You should have made Barry give you his headlight. Because, I mean, I think you needed a little more than him at this point. He's just chilling out in the room full of light bulbs. Right. Is there anything laying around? Don't see nothing. Do we have any guns? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is very important. Damn it, Al, you left the hunting rifle. For some reason, you left the hunting rifle behind. Oh, God damn it, Al. I can't trust you with anything. Supposed to go over there. Or this way. Oh, I guess we're about to find out. Ah, a nice scenic drive. Ah, oh, goddammit. No more scenic drives. Wait, do we have the same flashlight? I guess we don't have a flashlight. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh, oh, good, we do have the same flashlight. Yo, Al, flick the clicker again. Alright, leave the fucking rifle, Al. Why'd you do it? At least you kept our flashbangs. Wait, did we actually have flashbangs? Or are they new? Whatever, let's read this page. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. 
and he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the rider from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Yep, that seems like a reasonable thing to be doing. Can we take this car? Sweet. Yeah, it's a good thing all these abandoned cars are just laying around. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. We might have to walk somewhere. Oh, God forbid. I went hiking once in a place like this. It was terrible. Don't do it. Don't recommend. I mean, unless you're an outdoorsy person, in which case you might enjoy it. I am very much not an outdoorsy person. I mean, obviously, if I was, I probably wouldn't be sat here playing a video game. Well, first we're going to loot this place before we go anywhere else. Because, I mean, look, we can go inside and everything, I think. Looks like we can go inside. And since Al can't be trusted with anything, we need to find more guns. What's that? Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. Well, let's go investigate room number two. Oh, oh sweet bathroom coffee. Uh, refundable 100 security deposit required on all reservations, no personal checks accepted, blah 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 blah. One vehicle per unit, blah blah, yeah, 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 nothing important. Uh, what's in here? This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Uh, let's see, lots of pictures. Uh, of everyone in the town, pretty much. Some empty beer. Oh. Flashbang grenades. Uh, creator's Dilemma. Anything in his bathroom? Oh, we can't even go in the bathroom. Well, that was a... You actually made me jump. Good job. Alright, let's see if we can loot the other rooms. I don't think we can, because it doesn't look like they actually have an interior. Nope. This one? Oh, this one does. Nope, I lied. Then we can look for the window, though. Anything going on in there? Nope. That over here. Nope. Can we get in through the side? Anything around the back? Nope. Alright, let's keep going then. Let's get back to our car. Worthwhile trip though, we got two flashbang grenades and a shotgun. It's not quite the hunting rifle, but it's something. God damn it, Al. Why can't you be trusted with any guns? I can see a big light over there. God, is that you? So as we found out, it wasn't actually God, it was Zane all along. I have to go on foot. Unless I can go, like, along the side. No, even though there's nothing there, I'm apparently not allowed to. Yeah, let's run these fools over. Because as previously established, there's no point murdering people the hard way when you've got a car. Try again to slip through. Come on out. There's nothing. Ah, oh, damn it. Fine. There's a bunch of things that the car doesn't like to go over on here, apparently. Fine, I guess we'll walk. I thought that was a mini for a second, but that would have been pretty weird in America. Ooh, flares. No. I'm not I'm not getting assaulted by no barrels. 
More luggage. What is blinking over here? Is it just my light reflecting off it? Looks like it. What the hell? But I hate the poltergeists. Fridges. At least I have the heavy duty light, which does kill the poltergeist stuff way quicker. I never really considered them poltergeist, I just thought it was haunted stuff. But I, I guess poltergeist would make sense. Something else got flung at me. Where did it go? Well, I guess it went over there. Ow. Oh, oh god, I almost fell. Go there. Where's the other one? Something else definitely got thrown at me. Whatever, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh. Should use a flashbang. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I even killed the tire. But it still killed me. Ah, oh, hard life. Let's try again. Let's try to suck a little less this time. Take the flare. I wonder if there's any coffee hidden on this bridge. Not there are any many places to hide coffee. Stop bouncing so I can actually hit you. I swear, tires these days. What the hell? I don't know why I'm so surprised. I mean, it's not like this hasn't half been happening like nearly constantly for the last three days. Has it been three days? It's been, I think it's been about three days now. hard to tell when, when you only ever see the place at night. Oh, god damn it. When you only ever see the place at night, it all starts to blur together. You know, you lose you lose track of time and it's it's complicated. All right, this time, this time, third time is the charm. This time we're not going to get killed by the poltergeist and we're not going to get knocked off any ledges. Because we are good at video games. I mean, did you see how pro I was? I totally predicted which one of those was going to come to life. It's not like I've died twice here before or anything like that. God, what would give you that idea? Stop that. Make sure you actually fell. Okay, you're gone. I wasn't gonna get blindsided by no tire while I was fighting a fridge. Yeah, that's not a sentence. I bet you. I bet you didn't expect to hear that sentence today, did you? No, but you did. Very nearly fell. Didn't fall though. Are you gonna come to life? That one does. No. Nope. Just the fridges again. But I have a heavy duty torch. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. No, I, I can't fight it from a safe distance away this time.
Yeah. Well, I successfully blinded myself, but I don't seem to have hit it. Ah, I, I can't see nothing. Nice to see you too. All right, let's get going. This one's all nicely spotlit for us. Let's go. See, I told you third time was the charm. I mean, first time was the charm. It's not like I died there or anything. Get out of the way. Got places to go. Oh, God. I didn't expect that. Nope. Ah, oh. oh, God damn it. Can't get up there, apparently. Ah, uh, no thanks. Oh god. Really? We can't go in the car anymore? Well, that's an issue. I guess we're walking the rest of the way. Actually, there's a lot of light coming out of that barn. If I was a gambling man, I'd wager there's something over there. Hey, hey, come closer. Oh my god, Sonic, please. Alright, let's get to the barn. Because with that much light coming out, I mean, the barn looks like it's on fire. There has to be something in there. That doesn't even look like it's on fire. It looks like there's an alien ship taking off in there. We have to be careful not to get killed by the monster truck, though. You know what? Let's just go inside. It's probably to show us that, hey, if you uh, sucked really badly, there's a truck in here. We're just gonna drive right by you and hope that the AI can't figure out how to get out. Just going for a nice scenic evening drive. Nothing terrible is happening. Oh god. Nothing terrible at all is happening. Oh god, oh man. Come on, truck. Oh. Oh. Can we fit through? Not all the way. No. Oh. What the hell? You're gonna get it now, slime. I'll learn ya. Finally figured out what the purpose of the slime is, guys. It's to mildly inconvenience you. Like that. Is it? Th thanks. Oh. You know what? Screw it. Now you're dead.
well, dead again, because, I mean, you're like, you're like, pretty much dead. I mean, they're basically like zombies. If the zombies were like, weirdly intelligent zombies. Uh. Oh god. Did not notice the battery was almost dead. Was a bit of an issue. Oh, is it? Oh, is Omega 3 uh, is Omega Fatty Omega 3 good for me? One of them always manages to sneak up on me while I'm looking at one of the others. Is that a matter of fact? Ah, you see? Oh my god. Why am I so bad at video games? Remember the last episode where we think solved that puzzle without even really thinking about the puzzle? Oh, those were good times. Didn't die like seven times. Twenty minutes, like twenty minutes into the video. So twenty minutes? Oh no, twenty-seven. I should probably not be looking at that right now. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that time I'm going to blame it on the fact I was looking over at my other monitor to see how long I'd been recording. No, no. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my Take this. <laughs> oh. I'm bad at video games, okay? Alright, this time. No messing around. Balls to the wall. We're, we're gonna do it. That guy's not going to sneak up on us, for one thing. <sighs> Snuck up on me like three times, even though I knew he was there after the first time. Is that a matter of fact? Fascinating. Do tell me more. I'd love to learn about nature. Hey, you were trying to sneak up on me. Nah, you know what? You guys stay over there. You know what? Nah, nah. I don't want to. You guys stay over there. Hey, what's that? Looks exploding. Oh, were we sneaking up again? Hey, look, it's a very sneaky flare. Oh, bet you guys didn't see that one coming, did ya? Anyone 
now sneaking up on me. Did someone spawn behind me? No? Great. Oh, you spawned in front of me. Someone behind me. Behind me? No? Okay. Good. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned. It didn't even notice. That's one deep, deep lake. But we are going to stop there for the day, because the episode's already getting quite long, and we're clearly not going to reach any, like, conclusion, like, in the next ten minutes or so. So, thank you all for watching, and for bearing through the horrible failure that occurred a few minutes ago. And until next time, ta-ta.